If you're looking for some delicious food close to home, Gavin is here to tell us about two popular restaurants he started and their delicious food you just have to try. Gavin, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Of course. Okay, tell us about Salt and Olive. I am seeing this everywhere on social media. <laughs> How did it start? Yeah, so uh, we decided to start uh, an Italian concept downtown and felt like we could give an elevated dining experience. and. It's been really good so far. And here it is. And everyone <laughs> loves Italian food, so it's going well. When did you open? Uh, we opened in December this last year. Okay, so just so newer-ish. Yeah. Um, what kind of food are we going to order at Salt and Olive? What are some of the favorites? We have pizzas, pastas, but the lamb lollipops are to die for. Is that them right there? Yes, it is. And if you're going to get uh, a pizza, the carne asada is our top seller. Carne asada. What's your favorite, Gavin? I always like to know that. The lamb lollipops. I eat, try not to eat them every single day. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to eat them every single day. Okay, you have another restaurant, Nino Viejo. It's beautiful too. Everyone loves it. Tell us about this restaurant. Yeah, it was uh, inspired by a, another restaurant that's my favorite, and uh, it's a Latin steakhouse. We have Wagyu steak. We have lobster enchiladas, shrimp tacos. Oh my goodness. What are some <laughs> of the favorites there? Because probably the, all of those. Yeah, the birria tacos are a top seller, but I personally love the shrimp Diablo tacos. Shrimp Diablo tacos. Yeah. Are there ever like secret menus? I always love when people go into restaurants, they know like the secret things that chefs want to make. Is there ever <laughs> anything that you can ask for that's like on a secret menu? We, we have a few things coming for salt and olive. <gasps> okay. I'll, I'll have to give you the insider. Teasing that. <laughs> I love it. How did you get into the restaurant business? So uh, as a kid, I always wanted to own a restaurant and when COVID hit, I started a nonprofit called Utah Pay It Forward. And we were buying meal, ki meal kits from local restaurants to keep them in business and deliver them, delivering them to kids that are dependent on school lunches. Well, I saw people getting out of great locations. And I was like, if why everyone's getting out, it's the time to get in. Yeah, the time to get in. And I'm sure it takes a team, right, of people. Yeah, definitely Absolutely, because it, it's hard work. And, and if then, you just started in December, yeah, definitely a learning curve. Learned a lot through this experience. When we go in, I know at Salt and Olive, there's a beautiful like step and repeat you can take pictures of. How important is social media, do you think, in the role of marketing your business? Yeah, so one thing that we've kind of tried to do with each of our concepts is find 10 or 12 uh, social media experiences throughout your dining experience. Yeah, okay, you can kind of see the pictures there. Everybody probably stops and takes pictures there. Um, do you have like gluten-free options? Are there options for like different kind of diets too? Yeah, we definitely do. Vegan, gluten-free. Amazing. What sets your restaurants apart from everybody else, Gavin? Um, we're, we're, we understand that there's, it needs to be an, ex, it's an experience when you come to eat. And yeah. so the whole process is an elevated experience from what I think you'd find elsewhere. You eat with your eyes first, right? You want to visually see yes. everything that's cool yes. first. Um, do you have anything in the future you can tease any future restaurants coming up? Yes, we have an unbelievable sh sushi concept that we're opening. Sushi, sushi it's hard to say. Sushi. Sushi Steakhouse. Sushi Steakhouse. Say that three times in a row. Sushi Steakhouse coming downtown. That's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. Soon? Like this year? Yes, this year. Okay. Awesome. Okay. You can go to the uh, websites on your screen for more information for both of those restaurants. Gavin, great to see you and congrats on all your success. Thank you so much for having me.